very good evening. My name is uh, Dr. Ryan Chipersad. I am a registrar in internal medicine presently in my third year of training. This is the first of 47 algorithms that I'd love to share with you uh, about commonly presenting clinical conditions we encounter as physicians in internal medicine. All right, this is not designed to be an exhaustive uh, talk on pathophysiology or uh, clinical presentation. It's just meant to be an aid memoir, uh, if you will, of common etiologies behind the clinical conditions that we see. Often, you know, because internal medicine is a discipline that's so vast, we may have encountered the information before, but we cannot really uh, mention it when we asked off the cuff, especially in the setting of a ward round or a uh, you know a clinical exam scenario. So to kick off proceedings, we're going to talk about anemia uh, tonight. <clears throat> so we look at the mean cell volume, all right? And if the mean cell volume is below the reference range, we classify that as uh, microcytic. But if the MCV is above the reference range, it's macrocytic. If the MCV is within the reference range, it's normocytic. Um, but anemia, by definition, means that the hemoglobin concentration is below the relevant reference range, and it differs for males and females. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, causes of microcytic anemia. There's a handy mnemonic called TAILS. So T is for thalassemia, A is for anemia of chronic diseases, I for iron deficiency, L for lead poisoning, S for deroblastic. So within those five, you can probably encompass. Uh, most of, if not all, the causes of a microcytic anemia. Hopping over to the right-hand side of the uh, diagram, we can look at causes of macrocytic anemia, which can be classified as megaloblastic versus non-megaloblastic. And this basically describes the appearance of the erythrocyte on a smear, with megaloblast meaning round, non-megaloblast meaning not round, more oval-shaped, okay? So causes of megaloblastic macrocytic anemia includes vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, copper deficiency, and certain drugs and toxins. The one that springs to mind is uh, that of <clears throat> as a classic so-called poster child of uh, megaloblastic macrocytic anemia. Non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia, we speak to <clears throat> alcohol, liver disease, which causes membrane processing problems, myodysplasia, and reticular cytosis. So any cause of anemia that's going to cause the bone marrow to churn out red blood cells at a higher rate than normal may result in these immature reticular sites which are larger than normal. But they are non-megaloblastic by definition. Then in this central portion of the algorithm we have normocytic anemia where the mean cell volume is within the normal range. And here we speak to the reticular site production index. If it is below 2, then we classify that as so-called hypoproliferative normocytic anemia, but if the RPI is above 2, that's hyperproliferative. So let's talk about hyperproliferative first. If you encounter that, you must think a handy mnemonic triple H, not the wrestler, but triple H, the mnemonic, where we speak to hemorrhage, sorry, that's hemorrhage, hemolysis, and hypersplenism, so any one of those. But if the situation is that of a normocytic anemia with the RPI is below 2, that's hypoproliferative, where we speak to anemia of inflammation. Remember that anemia of chronic disease uh, can masquerade as both a normocytic or a microcytic anemia. Chronic kidney disease because there's not enough erythropoietin to stimulate the red blood cell production from the bone marrow. Hypothyroidism, which also impacts the bone marrow and bone marrow failure as well, which may be you know, iatrogenic, it may be uh, genetic, it may be infiltrative. All right, so there you have it, a handy clinical approach to the problem of anemia. I pray this has been uh, beneficial for you, and I'd love to leave you with James 1.5, which says, if any of you requires wisdom, let him ask of the Lord, who gives graciously to all without finding fault, it shall be given you. You know, I hope that this has been beneficial for you. I look forward to seeing you on the next, um, next uh, algorithm. Right, so it's okay, stay safe.